Okay, can you guys hear me? Hi, Lisa. Hi, Janie. Hi, Robbie. I'm still trying to get my setup fixed. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Jeanette. Okay, I'm going to place that there. Um, what time is it? Oh, and see, I thought I was early. Hey, Lori. Hi, Karen. We'll give everybody about another minute to get in here since I was late. I thought I was two minutes early. <laughs> Thank you. You guys can probably hear Elvis upstairs. He's, he's, um... A little lonely today. <laughs> Hi there. Hi Tracy. Hi Jean. Hi Wanda. Elaine. Sorry if I missed a few. It's moving faster than I can read. Okay, so hopefully the light is better. I know uh, last time um, I got some feedback that I needed to uh, bring the camera a little closer and maybe try to eliminate some of the shadow. Uh, so hopefully the shadow issue is fixed. The camera is closer. Um, it may be too close this time. I may be going from one extreme to another. Hi, Stacy. So yes, we're doing Christmas tonight. Um, this is the promotion that's going on right now for, well, we actually have multiple promotions. One are the bonus days um, where you get a $5 coupon to use in August for every $50 you order. The other one is a recruiting special. So everyone that joins these, this um, Carols of Christmas along with several other things are included with the kit, which is a pretty awesome deal. I have a really quick um uh, an easy simple project to make tonight I just got back from being on vacation so I will admit that my brain is a little fuzzy um, yeah I haven't stamped in over a week I think yeah um, anyway so we're gonna get started we're using the and I didn't write down the names but we're using the Be Mary I think this is the Be Mary Designer Series paper. And of course, we're going to make a little bag. You could call it a box. I'm going to call it a bag. And the first cut, we want to make sure, so if it's a if it's a paper that's directional, which, which means we want the reindeers to be going up and not sideways. So our first cut is going to be at eight and a half inches. So I'm going to cut this at eight and a half. And then we need two pieces that measure eight and a half by five and a half. So the next cut is at five and a half. And then five and a half. This is just left over. Now I'm going to get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. And we want to score both of them with the exact same measurement. So we're going to put it in the landscape side, which is the 8.5 inch side. We want to score it at 2 inches on both of those sides, on the 8.5 inch side. Then we want to score it 2 inches on the bottom. So that would be his feet. And you're going to repeat that on the other piece. So two inches, two inches, and then over here on the bottom at his feet. <laughs> okay. We're going to fold on the score lines if we can see them. I'm back. I only have one more trip in the month of July, and then I tell everyone I am not going anywhere for the month of August. I am staying put. 
The good thing is that July is actually a big vacation month for a lot of people. So, okay, on this, on on one piece, not the other. What we're going to do is remove these two outside squares, and I have an example. Well, let me get my hands on it right here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do to this one. These lines are very difficult to see between the lights and the busyness of the paper. Okay, let's see. I'll take a break in just a second and look and see if there's any, any questions. No, uh, Janice, I am. I did not opt to go to Thailand. I did earn the trip, um, but I don't travel well, and I hate to complain, and I hate to admit that because I always tell my kids we can do anything we put our mind to it. But I'll be honest and say, okay, so that one's done. Now, the next one we're just going to trim up to the score line. But last year when Brooke and I went, uh, when we flew to Spain, I did okay going there. Coming home, it took me a month to recover. I don't know why. I guess I'm a wimp. I'm just going to admit it and own it. So, yeah, I don't travel well. And when someone tells you that it's going to be at least 24-hour travel and quite possibly it could be 48, no thank you. I don't need it. I, yeah, I, um, I would be afraid I might actually die. No, no. <laughs> So last year coming back from Spain, we had like a 10 and a half hour flight from Spain to Miami, a five and a half hour layover in Miami, and then another three hour whatever flight to Kansas City. I seriously thought I was going to die in the Miami airport. I wanted to fall on the floor, pass out, so someone would take me to the hospital so I could sleep. <laughs> Sorry, you just got to laugh at me because that's the truth. I And I felt the same way a couple other times on some other trips, so... No, I I know it's beautiful. I've heard awesome things, but I also know my limits, and I know when to say no. So, yeah. I'm not sad about it either, though, so don't feel bad for me. Honestly, I've had so many awesome opportunities, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually not even jealous. I mean, they're posting pictures over there. They're having a good time. And yes, I've heard lots of horror, horror stories already about the travel, which makes me say, thank God I said no. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't do heights either. No hot air balloons for, the, for this girl, no matter what. You couldn't even pay me money. Okay, so now I'm going to take, um, let me get this back out really quick so I can show you. I've been rattling on about my traveling or lack of. Um, okay, so on the this one, you're going to put adhesive on this side, and then you're going to fold it in and attach it just like that, okay? And then on this one, you're going to put it here and here, and the reason is because it's going to fold just like that, see? Okay. Now i got to remember what I just said. I'm using my fast fuse, making sure that I um, do that little check at the end to uh, not mess it up. I missed you guys too. Last, uh, oh, who's laughing at me? Um, last Friday, I was at the lake and it felt weird. It was like, okay, I've missed too many of these this summer, but... Like I said, once July is over, the schedule will go back to normal, and you guys will get sick of me. My husband said, well, can't you just do it on a Thursday or something? I'm like, well, dude, we're on vacation on Thursday, too, so no. <laughs> so the hardest part of this thing is actually lining everything up so that it lines up. Yeah, so... To be honest, I can't really tell you the best way to do it. Oh, dear. Jeez, Louise. Grr. I might have to start over. Well, 
Hmm. Would y'all like to see me have a temp temper tantrum? Jeez, oh, oh peeps. Well, so this never really happens to me, but it just happened. So um, we'll start over. This piece is still good. Next time I won't talk. Whoever, whoever the new people are, if you've never joined, this has happened a time or two, but not, not lately. Luckily, I have extra paper. That's what I get for talking about my, uh, my travel issues. Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, it happens to everybody. And if it don't, it will now. I'm joking. Look, I've done it again. Jeez, oh, peeps. I shouldn't have even showed y'all that. Hold on. It's a good thing that um, I have three packs of this paper, huh? I'm not using this. Okay, free wine. We're, I'm going to do this really quickly. See, this is why I film all my videos, and I I only go live once a week. So I read somebody, somebody today um, said they go live every single day. I'm like, holy cow. I can't go live every day. That would be so stressful for me. So if any of y'all are just now getting here, we'll pretend that I just started. On the eight and a half inch side, score it two inches on both of those sides, sides, and then score two inches where his feet are, which would be the bottom. I wish I could edit out these live videos. I could just erase every bit of that. Oh well. Let's see. Yeah, the fast fuse works fantastic. Um, absolutely. It works too well. I have no control. I'm fast, though. We only lost about a minute there. I'm going to blame it on me um, talking. Okay, I cut that a little crooked, but... It'll, it should be okay. There's that one. And then we're just going to cut up to the score line on this one. Okay. We're at the exact same spot. <clears throat> so. I'm sorry. I'm using contraband. See, with this, if I mess up, it don't rip my paper. <laughs> okay, there's that part. Now, please don't let me do it again. So I'm just going to line this up <clears throat> down here at the bottom, see? So end to end. The pressure of being live. Okay. Okay, now I can press. And then this one's just going to fold up. I want to fold this one back so it don't get stuck too soon. There we go. Okay, there we go. Man. And then you just squeeze the sides. So if you wanted to make this a box, you could make it a box. Which is kind of cute. But then I'd have to make a lid. And I didn't really want to figure out the math on that. Maybe later. Another day. So I'm just going to squeeze the sides. And now it's a bag. And so, like, little sample thingies will fit in there have some stuff over here yeah yeah 
I'm going to take one of these little... <laughs> Who would have known it would take me so long, huh? Well, it really, really wasn't that long, was it? How long did it take me? Let's see, what time is it? Oh, not too bad. It's only 7.17. I usually, for those of you that have... Um, for the new people, if you haven't seen one of these before, I usually am done just with the regular projects in less than 30 minutes. Now, the online workshop ones are usually a little bit longer, but I only do one of those a month. I love these gold library clips. I'm kind of hooked on them. I'm going to say I got fumble fingers tonight. How about that? Now I'm going to tie a bow. Uh, what is this called? Whisper White Sheer Ribbon. Um, I said this before, but I'll say it again. It, it does look like the same ribbon that we had in the Occasions catalog, um, as far as it being white, but it's much softer and much easier to work with even though it's going to take me a couple times to get my bow. It's because I'm talking. Did I mess it up again? No. I got it. Whew. We're going to add that right there. We're going to be stamping... What are we stamping? Deck the halls. Cherry Cobbler. Oh, we need to cut some cardstock real quick. Hey there. Okay, so the Whisper White piece is going to measure three inches by two and three eighths. And then the Cherry Cobbler piece is going to measure three and a quarter, three and a quarter by two and five eighths. So these will just uh, layer together like that. Yeah. I love this stamp. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat. I said. I was saying, <laughs> I love the stamp set too. Uh-oh. Well, I might have to put my head in the camera to see where it's stamping. <sighs> oh, not too bad. It's a little to the right, but we're going to live with it because otherwise I'm going to have to stick my head in the camera. And then we're going to put dimensionals on the back. Oh, that's amazing. You're camping and you have an internet connection? Huh? What state are you in? <laughs> oh, I need my glue dot. I'm going to explain that in just a second. I got to move that so I can center this. Okay, so there it is. I need to trim this stuff. <laughs> this stuff is cute 
it's it's little I don't know if I like this one or the uh, the one that we used to carry more I haven't decided yet it's cute okay so this right here what are these gold faceted gems uh, when you leave Facebook tonight head over to my blog leave a comment I'll draw the draw the winner for these um, on Tuesday of next week <laughs> thank you it was really quick and easy um, as far as the size because I know someone's gonna ask me let me grab my ruler really quick okay so it is four and a quarter um, wide three and a half tall and less than two inches deep okay thank you oh Karen I'm sorry I know Robbie I'm sorry I should have brought him down here you know the problem is is that he's been at the lake house with us all week and um he got used to the house being had a having a ton of people and he got lots of attention and he was in the room with us and now he's upstairs by his lonesome I need to move one of the cages down here so he can hang out with me so here's the stamp set again. Um, anyone that signs up to be a demonstrator the month of July, there's $72 of extra product that you get. It's all over on my website. But this Carols of Christmas is going to be in the new holiday catalog that goes live in September. And you get it early um, if you join. Yeah, this month. Oh, don't feel bad. I was just up there with them, Robbie. <laughs> I just spent like 30 minutes up there having coffee and and setting up there but he can hear me down here so that makes it worse okay so uh, we're done with the live stream or live video and I'm just gonna look for questions really quickly and and if, if there's not any then I'm gonna go ahead and sign off um, yeah just looking for questions so um, Karen Wanted to know if this was the 3 8 It is not 3 8 This is 1 8 Yeah, 1 8 sheer ribbon. Headshots are acceptable. Oh, I'm embarrassed because not today. Uh, which paper? This is the B. Mary paper in the annual catalog. I was so happy to see a really pretty Christmas paper in our annual catalog. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I don't think I see. Um, I think I answered every question. So um, I'll give you guys another minute um, to ask any questions. Can you color the ribbon? You know, Sharon, that's a, that's a good question. And I don't mind um, trying for you. Like, do you, what color would you like me to see if it works? Like, do you want me to get a sponge dauber and an ink pad? That's what I'll do. Let me just grab it really quickly. I don't have the sponge dauber right here in front of me. Okay, so here's a sponge dauber, and I'm going to go with the new Berry Burst color to see how it colors. I don't get anything else instead, no, but I did get catalogs for my customers, <laughs> so we use our points to... Um, to redeem the trip and I used mine uh, to get catalogs yeah you could color it with a sponge dauber I just have a heavy hand 
So I got like a little too much in that one spot right there. Oh, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Let's see. Yes, you can color it. It's not as perfect as... You could also use um, alcohol and re-inkers and put it in a... Um... Hold on, let me grab that. I do have one of those close by. So I have alcohol in here with some re-inkers. But I want to get all my good stuff away from here. Um... Yeah. Well, let me. Whew. Well, I can't hit it. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Remember that little box thingy that we used to have that, um, that we, I used to spray all my projects in when I used to spray that shimmer paint. I miss that box. I still have it, but holy cow. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, it works, but you need to put this in something. So these are our little um, spritzer bottles or spritzer. I don't know what they're called. Okay, I'm going to look for a, you know, you could try the marker. Um, let me get a marker really quick. Okay, now, so here's the one I used with the sponge dauber, and here's the one I just sprayed, and now the marker. I think it's going to be, holy cow, that's dark. But yeah, that would probably match the color. Yeah, let me grab the fre fresh fig uh, paper. Is that fresh? No, that's berry burrs. Yeah, it matches. It's a little dark. Yeah, dark's better than it's better than the um, the sponge dauber one. I sprayed myself with the uh, spritzing tool. Okay, I'm gonna look for questions one more time. Uh, you can, um, okay, Jackie, you can refill a re, um, an ink pan, um, Stampin' Right marker. What you do is, is you take some tweezers or something, and you remove this tip, and then you put the droppers in there, um, and then you put that back in there, but I'll be honest and say that, um, I've seen a few people mess up their markers because if you mess up that tip when you're taking it out, then you've messed up your tip. You know what I mean? But you can. Some people do refill them. I, I haven't. I have, I'm not, I'm very clumsy. So if I tried to remove that, I could see it flying across the room and <laughs> disappearing forever. I don't know. Um, I think, Cindy, I think you could put the re-inker, uh, in a, like a little dish along with some alcohol and then just dip your ribbon in there. That would work. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, Sarah. I, I know what you mean. That autocorrect has gotten all of us. Kathy, I do like the mini dimensionals, but I haven't stamped very much in the month of July. So um, I know that my Halloween projects that are going to be starting in September, 
I know I'm going to use them. But I haven't yet. I mean, maybe once or twice. Uh, Mary, I did get the um, framelits. I'll show those to you. And I'll show you one thing I did today with them. These are great questions tonight, by the way. Yay! I always tell my downline, let me know if you have any questions. I... I don't, I can't come up with all the questions and the answers. Like, I can come up with the answers, but I can't come up with what questions everybody has. So, tonight are good questions. Let me show you what I did with this little Dumaflachi. Look here. This framelit, um, how'd I do it? Yeah, just like that. So, I cut the Whisper White cardstock to measure um, five and a quarter by four so that it'll fit on the front of my cherry cobbler cardstock. So once I did one side, then I turned it and I made sure I lined up these two holes down here with the existing holes that were there. And then I ran it through the big shot again and it gave me that. And that's as far as I got, because I wanted to make a 3D project tonight. Um, but yeah, and that's, I did cut out a little deer, because I was thinking, here, he, come here, where are you? So here's the little deer, and I was thinking about adding him to the bag. Look how cute. Isn't he cute? Okay, I'm looking for questions. Oh, I see hearts. So you like the little deer. But you know what threw me off? So when I was working with this earlier today, these guys have antlers, because I'm assuming they're a reindeer, and this dude don't. So I'm like, oh, is someone going to flame me because he doesn't have antlers and they do? Not antlers. Is that what they're called? Yeah, that's what they're called. Never mind. I'm losing it. I'm tired. Okay. Questions, questions. Uh-oh. Um, Michelle, that big tape thing is an ATG tape gun. I've used it for a long time. <laughs> Uh, where I live, the humidity is really bad, so adhesive sometimes uh, has a difficult time sticking, and it has never failed me. <laughs> um, what is the name of the stamp set? It is Carols of Christmas. Oh, the deer's a girl. Is that what you're saying, Lisa? It's a baby. Oh, yeah, at the lake house, there was tons of little babies running around. Um, this product will be available for everyone once the holiday catalog goes live. For now, it's available for new recruits. When they join in July, they get it for free along with um, like $50 of other product. Or as a demonstrator, we can pre-order it right now along with these framelits. So if you're a demonstrator, you can order them. <laughs> I know, Cindy. Contraband. That's the only contraband I really use in my office, though. So I'm not going to feel too terrible. Ooh, my internet connection's kind of iffy. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to sign off now. You guys have a, a wonderful weekend, and I will be here for next, next week, Facebook Friday, number 26, same time, same place. It's the following uh, Friday after that that um, I'll be out of town again, but I'll make sure I let you guys know that next week. Have a great weekend. Thank you.